be eyeing up the it could be founder of Facebook be eyeing up the White House. Mark Zuckerberg has got people wondering if he might want to run for the US presidency after hiring multiple p political big hitters in the last few months. Which we would have... Make it to the White House. Come Mark Zuckerberg, joining us now from the US is Trump supporter Erin Elmore. Erin, uh, good morning to you. Um, surely... Good morning. Donald Trump has proven that anybody can get to the White House. Oh, is that what we're saying now? Anybody can do it? Well, what Donald Trump actually accomplished was an amazing feat. He had so much less money than Hillary Clinton did. Not one single poll said he was going to win. He connected directly with the people via social media. His staff was completely lean. I think what Donald Trump did is not just something that anyone can do. It's actually almost miraculous. Do you think Mark Zuckerberg could do it? You know, I think that I like anyone outside of the swamp, as Donald Trump calls it. Now, I think Donald Trump is the guy for the job, and we're going to give him these four years and another four. But I think outsiders outside of Washington are better for the United States of America and the people. When the founding fathers laid out our Constitution and decided what they wanted America to look like, they didn't want lazy, bloated career politicians that are living off the government and don't have any real-life transferable skills. Donald Trump knows how to run a business. Mark Zuckerberg looks, knows how to run a business. I think business people should be running our country like a business. Okay, well, Carl McDonald is outside the swamp, the, the famous Washington swamp. Lazy, Get bloated politicians. Lazy, bloated right? politicians, you know, the, the families, the generational politicians, someone new and fresh. Um, Mark Zuckerberg could be kind of beneath the swamp, controlling us all, and we wouldn't even know it. Well, I, I mean, one website, Facebook, isn't our whole source of news. Just like now, we have certain websites here in the United States and also over there in London and in England that have all different points of view. And it's the American people, it's the job of an American citizen to go through the news and ascertain what is real, what is fake, what is biased, what is not. So just saying that we're going to rely on Facebook and think that's our only source of news, shame on you. That's also a little bit lazy, I would say. But Mark Zuckerberg certainly does have a platform. I believe he's got 2 billion users and constituents that would be watching him via Facebook. He certainly does have an outlet. And he does have a bit of, let's say, an obligation to... to, to handle that information and data well. And as you touched on earlier, what Carl said, it isn't an algorithm depicting what is trending. It is actually humans that are deciding that. And there have been allegations that what they say is trending is a little bit biased. So I do understand exactly what you're saying. And there could be certainly a risk there. But if he were the president of the United States, I'm quite certain that there would have to be some distance and spacing from Facebook and that data you know, dissemination. Quite interesting because, you know, Donald Trump has changed the world. I think everybody... All of that, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. All the key things Thank of today. Thank you very much, Erin, in America. Thank you, Carl, at the desk. It says time check. Do you want to do this or what? Uh,